Welcome back to the Esports Report. Some breaking news today. Call of Duty community again making some team changes. We just talked to Chaos Silencer from Team Caliber announcing that Gunjar is leaving Envy to take Neslo's spot on Team Caliber. So Team Caliber right now is going to be Theory, Sharp, Gunjar, and Formal, the Halo professional player. Now, though, we have a very special guest with a fake drama alert. I bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, Methods from Curse Youth. What is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Anthony. Let's get right into the news. To start off today, we had Phase Competitive making a roster change, recently picking up Anthony. Name was Wheeler. He was released today for so-called Jordan, Cannon, Proofy. This is not official yet. This is speculation. All the tweets, nameless, official tweet has said, FaZe picked up Proofy. With that being said, I'm a free agent. I'm getting off Twitter for now. I'll be back later tonight. Followed by a FaZe competitive tweet. It's with a heavy heart that we announced we have released Nameless from the team. We have a fourth in mind, and they'll be announced shortly. We thought this was it. We thought this was the first roster change and the last roster change for today. We thought wrong. Neslo from Team Caliber getting released. This change shocked many. Neslo, one of the outstanding players from TK, bringing them many top placings, including of the second place at UMG Philly, just falling short to complexity. His first tweet was, I have been released from Team Caliber. I don't know if I'm playing anymore. TK needed a change. Love these guys. He then began to tweet after Gunjar, yes, Gunjar, Javon, Guljar, Gunjar from Envious departed from the team. As we know, Proofy has left the other day. Now, Javon, Gunjar following, joining back with TK, Merck. He wasn't too happy. He sent out a tweet to Big Timer and Rambo, yo, at Optic underscore Big Timer, want to play with me and Rambo and beat for the lols. We can warm up on DayZ. Will Big T leave Optic for NVS? I doubt it, but do not count it out. Gloomjar begins the tweet. New Twitter name. People don't understand. Only a few people know the full story. Trying to defend himself versus the rioters that the EOD squad has to offer. Neslo took shots. He said, this team, they hated Goon, and now they're rewarding him for not being loyal. He said loyalty is nothing, literally nothing. Wow, this community doing 360, so many roster changes. As you know, I am out of the play. I'm on Curse Youth, Killer <laughs> Anthony. I am too young for Call of Duty championships. Fuck it, help me out there. And <laughs> to announce this, wow, I am flabbergasted. Nameless, free agent. Dito, free agent. Neslo, free agent. The TK team. Formal, Theory, Sharp, and Gunjar. Can this team beat the COL Wrecking Ball? Complexity consisting of Aix, TP, Crim6, and Karma. Wow. John Alert Nation, now at over 78,000 subscribers. <laughs> how, how long did you practice that in your bedroom before we went live? Uh, I didn't actually didn't practice at all. I was just yeah. actually live on my Twitch channel doing it pretty quickly. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't, that one wasn't thought out. I was just going nuts. But before I hopped on, what I had to do is I had to open all these players' Twitters. I had to um, scavenge some data, make sure I didn't get anything wrong. So you give you guys a professional and sort of relying drama alert. Now, of course, uh, Keemstar, I have to give a shout out to him for the real oh, drama please. alert. You can go check out his YouTube channel. But uh, Methods, I wanted to bring you on the show, not just because I find your folk your faux drama alerts hilarious, but wanted to get your opinion on these team changes because a number of teams are involved today. Envious, TK, uh, Nameless, of course, now free agent on, on FaZe, and I just got the text. It's official. FaZe is going to be picking up Proofy, hopefully wow. talking to JCap here in about 15 minutes. But before Nameless was on FaZe, you were on FaZe, playing I with was. him back at UMG. What do you think about your teammates choice here to go with uh to go with proofy over nameless well nameless skyped me last night he was like um yo methods when you when you're on the team were you winning scrims and i was like yeah for the majority he goes damn we've been getting obliterated i hope i don't get dropped and i was like you know i i know chris i mean you should be good i mean chris is 
player who always thinks of land more than online. But I guess they thought Proofy was the better fit. Obviously, Proofy is one of the best slayers in the game. Maybe he fits the wall more. Um, I know all those players pretty well, and I don't think that they make a decision without it being very well well thought out. I think that they they made a decision. They're convinced that it's the right decision. So uh, I'm really good friends with Nameless. Um, I wish the best to him. Um, you know, he can maybe get a new squad. Obviously, Envy's looking for players. Um, just, you know, I think it was a good decision if they thought it was a good decision. You know, I, I can't say I'm not on phase right. anymore. I'm not in the scrims. I can't speak for them. But if they thought it was good, I'll trust them and think it was good. Um, so, yeah, it's about that. All right. So that's phase. Now, talk to me about TK. Stronger or weaker with Goonjar instead of Nezla? Uh, this is going to rely on formal. Formal is going to be that hit or miss player. I'm not saying Formal's bad at all. Formal's a really good player, but he needs to fit that role that can sort of play around Gunjar. You know, Gunjar's a really good, solid slaying AR. Um, he can slay everything on the map. And if all goes as planned, and if they practice a decent amount and they get all their stats down, they should be a stronger team because you know they sort of lack their AR game with Formal running the AR. Just because he he's sort of a sub player, he has a really amazing shot. It's out of control. Um, so. He should be better with a sub. He's sort of that running gun player that they need. And Gunja obviously is being a slang animal. And, you know, they have that core three um, sort of chemistry. Mm -hmm. So I see them being a better team. Um, and because, uh, like Chaos said, you need to be able to get, you know, sort of familiar and you have to be friends with each other outside of the game as well. And I think that they lack that when it, when it came to Neslo. Um, so I'm excited to see how they play. I think that they should be a better team. Um, yep. You know, Nezla was a really good and loyal player, but with the addition of Gunjar, I think that, you know, this team can definitely be a top contender to beat COL championships. Really? You think they could yeah. take out Complexity? That's, that's I mean, that, that's from my standpoint. I lost to Complexity by one round in, in the last map in Search, and Fair. we showed. Right. And so, I mean, I think they're beatable. Don't get me wrong. Those dudes are phenomenal. They have the chemistry that no other team has, and all these team changes are pretty much putting them on a pedestal and making them so much better than all these teams. But I feel like if TK grinds, they puts the time in, they, they could definitely be a top contender. Due to the fact that there's a lot of time to win championships, uh, they can go over SD stuff, they can, get, they can get their respawn down. You know, a lot of things can happen in that time. And, um, you know, they, they can probably surprise some people. But as of now, I'm going to say, CUL is winning champs. That's just my opinion. Now, can, did you watch the Winter Invitational last night? Did you see how those matches went down? I saw Envy play phenomenally well. I thought, you know, they were looking pretty good with the addition of Study uh, as well as Gunjar. So I thought I was pretty surprised and, you know, I was taken back when I saw the change was made. Um, so I saw some of those matches. The only one I did see well was the Envy Optic and the SB Curse NY. So that was also an entertaining match to watch. But, you know, there was no changes over at the Curse Mob side or the SB side. Right. So, so what do you do if you're Envy at this point? You had a team at Philly, then you went through several team changes. Now the squad is, it's unfinished, and it's almost at the point where you're looking at completely rebuilding. If you're Merc on Envy, if you're the captain of this team, what do you do with this squad? Who do you go after? Um, it depends if Rambo definitely wants to play. Um, if Rambo wants to play, you either have Nezlo or Nameless or Dito, possibly, you don't know. But if Rambo does want to coach, I'm thinking maybe Nameless and Nezlo both to Envy, or maybe Dito and, you know, just there, there's pretty much that three main free agent pool right now with Nameless, Nezlo, and Dito. So I'm surprised to see what they do. Um, to be honest, I think Rambo is a good player, and I watched him last night, and he made some pretty amazing calls. So I don't see him going back to the coaching position. Yeah. So um, in my opinion, the best fit for that team is uh, it's sort of not clear to me yet because I'm trying to think, you know, they lost Gunjar. And now they're sort of in that search for that AR player. You know, Merc runs a sub. I'm pretty sure uh, Study runs a sub as well, as well as Rambo. So, Does, does to... Merc run a sub on purpose or just because no one else on the team was running the sub and he, he jumped on that role? Uh, to be honest, I couldn't even tell you. But okay. from what I watch and see, he used the sub. So if they need an AR, I think the best option would probably be either Dito or Nameless just because those players both use ARs and have used ARs before. Uh, Nezlo is sort of that player that can just run and gun. You know, he's a really good search and destroy player. Don't get me wrong. That dude is mm -hmm. something else in search. So it all depends on what Envy thinks they need. Um, if one of them wants to go back to running AR, um, you know, it just all depends on how they feel. Well, you know, I, I have to give you some props because I've been working with all the teams on the Winter Invitational. We've been pretty loose with kind of the team changes and the subs. 
Five different teams have wanted to play with you on their roster. There's a reason for that. A very smart player, and I appreciate your insight uh, coming on to the show today. Methods, Curse Youth, is this a real team? Is this just something to play in the 2Ks to stay on top of pro points? What can we expect from your current lineup? Uh, right now, you know, we're a real team. You know, we scrim as a team. We do tournaments. We do the 2K series. You know, we pretty much do it all. I stream scrims. You know, we just, we play like a real team would. And right now, you know, we're a roster that's planning on attending events. Obviously, it's not the quality championships. Um, but, you know, joining Curse, you know, it's a really, it's a really solid organization. It's probably one of the best organization, organizations I've been a part of. Um, you probably don't see much of behind the scenes work and how hard these people on Curse actually work. But it's truly phenomenal, you know, how sort of at home I felt mm -hmm. being alongside, you know, the Curse LV boys and the Curse NY boys, as you uh, know, you know, they're definitely personal friends of mine. So, um, you know, I'm definitely loving Karis. And as of now, you know, we're here to stay. Uh, team of underage players. A lot of people thought the idea was pretty crazy. But, you know, when I, when I got sort of offered the opportunity, I was like, you know what? I'm young, very young, and we're all solid players. Let's make this work. So um, I'm, I'm thinking that we're pretty good right now. We've, uh, we've scrimmed around. We've played the two guys series. We've been playing pretty well. I think we placed third slash fourth in the last one. And we... Um, I think we lost 3-1 to Curse LB. So, um, you know, we've been playing pretty well, and I'm uh, excited to see what we can do in the near future. Good stuff, man. Well, uh, before we go, I, I asked Twitter for some questions for you. Right. And we have a mix of some serious ones, some not so serious. In fact, my producer's call for a quick commercial break. When we come back, I'll compile all of your questions for Methods. Send them to me. I'm at MLG Puckett. You can tag Methods in it as well. We'll be back with some methods AMA while we're waiting on JCAP to get on the eSports Report.